I wrote an article about the best running shoes to wear for a marathon, but I'm struggling to figure out what headlines to use. That's because if you ask any good copy or headline writer, they'll tell you you need to come up with 5 or 10 different versions of your headline before you press send, submit or publish. Now normally this takes me a lot of time to craft. Enter AI. I've plugged my article idea into 5 different AI tools to test which one comes up with the best headline results. And in this video I'm going to walk you through what those outputs look like. And I'll also give you some practical tips for using AI to iterate and generate your headlines whether they're about running shoes or some sort of other topic that you want to publish on your blog or on social media. My name is Brian Collins. If you enjoy this profile of headline AI writing tools, hit thumbs up. Now let's dive in. But first, headline writing crash course 101. You need to write five or 10 different headlines and they should always have some sort of psychological triggers which encourage readers to click. That's because people are starved for attention. Buzzfeed headline writers are a master at this. If you're curious about what types of headlines you should write, go over to Buzzfeed and input your topic of choice. I put in running and you can see here a lot of the most popular clickworthy headlines, that is clickworthy for social media, tend to be listicles and really specific. 41 shoes for commuting, traveling and living your best life. That would work really well on Facebook. So I could work through these to get some ideas of potential headlines that I could write. Similarly, if you're going to write a headline for a search, you need to think a little bit more about your keyword. And usually the keyword should be at the start of your headline. And when I put in the subject for my particular article, you can see the keyword best running shoes or variations of it usually appears at the start of the H1. If you're looking for a little bit more inspiration, take the topic, niche or niche that you're writing in, plug it into Google Images followed by the word magazine. Magazine writers spend a lot of time figuring out how to capture the attention of shoppers. So here's one that stood out to me, 10 best winter foods for runners. Actually, that would make a fairly good follow on article for the article that I've just written. That said, you can see I'll get lots of different ideas and inspiration for the types of headlines I should be writing. And then I can use these to tailor the prompts that I'm about to put into the AI writing tools that I've tested. First up is ChatGPT. Now I'm going to use ChatGPT4 to generate my headlines and I'm going to start with a pretty basic prompt. I'm going to simply ask ChatGPT to write me 10 headlines for my article about the best running shoes for a marathon. Now ChatGPT4 is a little bit slower than ChatGPT 3.5, but the results tend to be better. So let's see what it comes up with. So these headline suggestions are okay. Conquer the 26.2, that refers to the number of miles in a marathon. Ultimate strategies for marathon success. But on second thoughts, that's not really about the best running shoes for a marathon. That's more training advice. Next up, we have essential tips for peak performance, marathon mastery. Again, that's more training advice rather than a headline about my article, which is a roundup of the best running shoes. And you can see all of the other suggestions are pretty much similar. When I search in Google, I can see that the keyword best running shoes pretty much appears in the H1 or headline for all of the articles that are on page one of Google search results. So I need to make sure that this keyword is in my headline or perhaps a variation of it. So I'm going to give ChatGPT a more specific prompt, write me 10 headlines about the best running shoes for a marathon, and then I'm going to tell it to make sure it includes this keyword. Now let's see what it comes up with. ChatGPT has come up with the 10 suggestions, and you can see that the bulk of these suggestions actually have the keyword best running shoes in the headline. Perhaps this one is the closest, from start to finish, the best running shoes for your marathon. So I could simply use this headline and take out the word your. Now one thing I've noticed from writing headlines for a search is often the keyword is at the start of the headline rather than at the end. So let's ask ChatGPT to rephrase these headlines. I've told ChatGPT to rewrite the headlines making sure that the keyword is at the start. So now you can see I'm getting some more specific options that I can pick from. Best running shoes for a marathon. Best running shoes gear up for the ultimate race. Best running shoes of 2023. That's actually a perfect SEO optimized headline followed by your key to victory. So I could use any of these depending on the tone or the intent of my article and who it's for. If you're writing an article, don't stop with publishing it on your website. You're also going to want to share it on other social media networks to make sure you get some of that juicy extra traffic. So again, you can use ChatGPT to help with iterating your headlines. So I gave it this prompt, write me 10 headlines for a Facebook post that are click worthy. And now you can see ChatGPT is inserting emojis and it's giving me some different variations of the headline 
that I could use for my organic or paid Facebook posts. So again, this would save me a lot of time figuring out how to say the same thing in different ways for multiple social media networks. If I have an email list, I might also want to send out the same article to subscribers. Email subject lines are something you'd also want to write variations of, if only because a lot of email tools enable you to A-B test headlines. So again, you can ask ChatGPT to give some options that you can use for your A-B tests. Here's a good one here. Martin PR, we've got you covered with the best running shoes. Now I might want to edit this depending on my tone of voice, so I could change this to, I've got you covered with the best running shoes, but at least I have some options to pick or choose from. So my takeaway is ChatGPT is great at providing multiple different headlines and variations, specifically if you use prompts that are tailored for your audience and where you intend to publish your work. The writers at BuzzFeed are masters at generating clickworthy headlines. You can use ChatGPT to write a headline much like BuzzFeed. So once you've produced a couple of draft headlines, give it this prompt, write 10 headlines in the style of BuzzFeed and look up some of the versions it's come up with. These game-changing running shoes will make your marathon experience 1000% better. Completely over the top and exaggerated, not something I'd use for search, but it could be great for social media. Which top rated marathon running shoe is perfect for you? Find out now. Lots of great versions that I can test or use here for my article if I want to make it clickworthy. Koala Writer is an AI tool that I've been using a lot lately to create first drafts. Now in another video on the channel, I profile Koala Writer in detail. But suffice to say, it'll produce an article that's a lot longer than what ChatGPT can produce and insert links and real-time search results. And it can also do headlines. And because it integrates directly with ChatGPT, you can use it in pretty much the same way using Koala Chat. So I started with this input, write me 10 headlines for an article about the best running shoes for a marathon. And you can see again the prompts or the prompt that I gave it has given me some generic headlines which don't quite match the intent of the article. How to avoid common running injuries during marathon training. Well, if I've written a listicle of best running shoes, that's not really advice about how to avoid getting injured. So let's give Koala Writer something more specific. I've given Koala Writer pretty much the same prompt I put into ChatGPT and asked it to write uh, 10 headlines that have the keyword best running shoes for marathon in it. And number one immediately stands out because it's a good listicle. Because let's say I had 10 running shoes in my article. This would be relevant to what I've just written. Or I could just edit this number. I also have the keyword and then the rest of the headline looks good too. And I have multiple different options that I can pick from here. I could also ask Koala Writer to iterate these headlines for a Facebook post using the same types of prompt I put into ChatGPT. Endurance athletes, we've got you covered. Here are the top running shoes to help you crush your next marathon. Now I might change the tone of voice on this particular headline and tailor it so that it sounds like it's something that I wrote rather than a big media company. A couple of other options, ready for your next marathon challenge, make sure you're equipped with the best running shoes for the job. Check out the latest article now. I might delete this bit at the end, but all of these would serve as useful headlines that I could potentially test on Facebook. And of course you could iterate these headlines for your emails as well using Koala Chat. And if you wanted, I could ask Koala Chat to insert emojis too. That's because it works pretty much like ChatGPT. So my takeaway is that either of these tools would help me write a headline quickly and easily. Again, I have to be specific with the prompts to get what I need from them. Copy.ai is a popular AI writing tool that a lot of businesses use. You can use it to write blog posts, emails, and of course, headlines. And that's what I did for this particular article. So basically, I asked Koala Writer firstly to write me a headline about the best running shoes for a marathon. And it gave me just one headline. But hey, that's probably my fault because I wasn't specific enough. So this time I asked it to write a headline for a listicle article about the best running shoes for a marathon. And I explained what the keyword is and that it should be in the headline. And now it's given me this option, which is pretty usable. 10 best running shoes for a marathon. Actually, that's pretty similar to what Koala Writer came up with and ChatGPT. However, I like to have options. So again, I gave the more specific prompt. Write me 10 headlines for a listicle article about the best running shoes for a marathon. And now you can see here, I have 10 different options that I could copy to my clipboard or that I could add to the copy.ai editor. And actually, you can use the editor to generate your own content and edit it all inside of copy.ai. One feature I did like inside of copy.ai is it provides a little bit more guidance with prompts. So if I click on browse prompts, go down to social media, click on headlines, and it'll give me a sample prompt that I can use. Write five attention grabbing headlines for platform on topic for audience. So I'm gonna use this particular prompt. And in this case, my platform is Facebook. 
the topic is best running shoes. And I like that it asked me to specify the audience because this would really affect the outputs of the headline and perhaps it's something I should have done in ChatGPT. So in this case, the audience is new runners. Let's see what it comes up with. I put the prompt in twice and I did notice there was a small bit of a lag, but it did give me some suggestions that I could choose from. And I like that these were tailored specifically to the audience rather than all types of runners. After all, a new runner or a new marathon at least is going to opt for a different type of running shoe versus somebody who's done 10 or 11 marathons. Anyway, here's four options that gave me instead of five. New to running, find your perfect fit with the best running shoes for beginners. Step up your running game with the best running shoes for new runners and so on. And you will notice that the keyword is actually towards the end of the headline, but that doesn't really matter because it's a Facebook post rather than something that I'm optimizing for search. Of course, if I am optimizing for search, copy.ai also has prompts that can help. Simply click on content SEO, click on headline generator and you'll get a sample prompt. And then I can put this into uh, copy.ai and ask it to generate some results. Now I did notice sometimes that this green button uh, grays out. So if that happens to you, just click reload and then just paste back in your prompt and it should work. So now I should get 10 different headlines that I can use for my article if I was gonna publish it on my blog. The only running shoes you need for your next marathon. Well, the keyword isn't in that headline. From start to finish, the best running shoes for a marathon. I could potentially use that, but I would probably swap from start to finish and the best running shoes for a marathon around. A couple of other suggestions too, and it's given me eight rather than 10. That said, these are helpful building blocks. One AI tool that I've been using a lot lately is Grammarly Go. It's just released and I like it because it works on my desktop and it works pretty much anywhere thanks to the Grammarly plugin. If you are using the free version of Grammarly, you get access to Grammarly Go, but you're limited by how many prompts you can input per month. If you have the premium version, you can input quite a bit more prompts. Elsewhere on the channel, I profile Grammarly Go in detail, so go check out that video. Anyway, I have on screen Ulysses, which is a desktop writing app. The workflow is pretty much the same in any desktop writing app once you've installed Grammarly. So simply look for the Grammarly icon, then click on Grammarly Go, and you can start to input your prompts. So I put in this prompt, write 10 headlines for an article about the best running shoes. Now Grammarly Go will just take a few moments to come up with some suggestions and I can insert these directly into my article. So you can see how this could be a real time saver. I don't have to tab over to ChatGPT or some other AI writing tool. I can actually do this directly in the first draft of my article. 10 must have running shoes for your next marathon. The ultimate guide to finding the best running shoes for a marathon. I could probably use this one, but maybe swap around the ultimate guide and the best running shoes. So it's more like this and so on. So I can browse through each of these suggestions and see which is relevant for me. Similarly, I can use Grammarly Go to come up with Facebook headlines. So I put in the same prompts that I showed you a few moments ago and Grammarly Go will come up with some Facebook headlines that I could potentially use. And of course I can do this directly on the Facebook platform as well. Jasper.ai is a popular AI writing tool. Again, it's used by a lot of businesses. Now basically you can use jasper.ai to write pretty much anything from blog posts to articles to of course headlines. A lot of people when they're using ChatGPT wonder what prompts to use. So I guess this is where all of the templates in Jasper can help. There are templates for SEO blog post headlines and titles and meta descriptions. There are templates for video titles, Amazon product descriptions, email subject lines, the list goes on. As useful as all of these templates are, I found it a little bit overwhelming to have to pick from so many. That said, the results from Jasper are pretty good. So I picked the SEO blog post title and meta description template. I put in my title, best running shoes for a marathon. I put in a description. So I basically just took the prompts that I've shown you for the previous tools. And then I asked it to generate 10 different headlines. Jasper is quite good at iterating content because if you increase the number of outputs, you can get multiple different versions of your headlines or your blog posts or whatever you're asking it to generate. So in this case, I just went for the de default output, which is five. So five by 10 equals 50. So I have five different outputs, each of which have 10 headlines. So there are more headlines than I can possibly ever use or test here. Finding the perfect pair, best running shoes for a marathon. Ready, steady, go. Choose from these top 10 running shoes for marathons. Get your feet into gear and so on. So there are lots of different options that I can choose from for my SEO blog post. Now I did notice that I forgot to put in the keyword into the template. So let's ask it to regenerate these and see what it comes up with. Lots of different options here. And again, more than I can potentially pick from. 
Although it was interesting to notice that it didn't always use the keyword in the headline. So for example, best running shoes for marathoners is a little bit different to the keyword that I've put in. Top 10 running shoes is not the keyword that I was going after. However, there are lots of great options that I can pick from. Best running shoes for a marathon, get ready to run. So this is a great SEO optimized headline that I can pick from. And of course, if I click on any of these, I can go in and edit them before I open them up in Docs or in the Jasper, Jasper document editor or copy them over to my writing application of choice. My takeaway from writing headlines with these AI tools, ChatGPT is probably your first port of call. It's pretty easy to use and you don't have to worry too much about prompts once you're specific. I really liked how Grammarly Go works directly on my desktop once I set up Grammarly on my computer. Jasper and Coado are good too and you can actually use them to write the entire article. I have other videos on the channel where I walk you through how to do just that. That said, whatever tool you decide to pick, remember to be specific with your prompts, to create multiple versions and to test, test, test. Do you have questions about using AI to generate headlines or what tips have I overlooked? Let me know in the comment section below this video.